Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about OOPs and in the previous video, we started with the concept of alias. Firstly, we discussed alias is just like a shortcut or relevant name. We have a dedicated tab in the class or we can say or in the interface for the alias. Yes, after that we discussed the most most important use of alias is whenever we are going for implementing the interface methods in the class rather than using these big names we can simply simply go for shortcuts so we you all know how the interface methods are appearing into the class interface name tilde operator method name so rather than going for this big name we can simply create a shortcut or alias it will increase the readability of the code now what we will do we'll go for the practical part we'll firstly go for alias using the global classes then we will simply go for the local classes we'll create a program and there itself we will see the use of alias. So firstly, I will go to SC24 transaction code. Now, firstly, I will create an interface. I will use that interface into the class because you all know, yes, alias, where it is widely used whenever you are implementing interface methods into the class. It means firstly, I will create an interface. I will give the first letter starting with Z or Y. Suppose I am saying Z interface underscore suppose sales or I am creating a interface for the sales or I will go for create. Yes, I will go for interface. I will give the short description. Suppose I will say interface for sales order. I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. I will activate this interface. Now I will create a method into this interface. Suppose name of the method is get sales order details now suppose this method is instance method you all know in interface all methods are public by default there is no need to go for the visibility yes because all methods are public now i will give that description to get the sales order details now I will take some parameters into this particular method. Suppose input is pvbeln. Suppose this is your importing and you all know data element for vbeln is vbeln underscore va. You can simply open the table and copy paste from there also. Suppose if I will go for sc11 transaction code vbeln the data element is vbeln underscore va suppose input is sales document number suppose i will go for output of these four columns so these four are our exporting so i will write per that this is your exporting now what is the data element for er that is er that now I will go for P-E-R-Z-E-T. This is again exporting. And the data element is E-R-Z-E-T. Then I will go for P-E-R-Num. It is also exporting E-R-Num. Then I will go for P-V-B type. You all know we are always following the best practices. So I gave the parameter name starting with P. The data element for VB type is VB TYP and yes, correct. In your system, it might be VB type. You can use that particular data element. 
Now I will activate up to this level. You all know in interface, yes, we cannot write the logic because all methods are abstract method. You cannot write the logic. Now what I will do, I will create a class. In that class, I will use this particular interface. So I will go for SC24 transaction code. Suppose I will create a class. Suppose I will simply use Z class underscore sales order. I'm creating a class. I will go for create class. Suppose I will write class for sales order details. Yes, I will go for use well about class. I will go for save. I'm saving this as a local object. Now I will go to interfaces tab and I will include that interface. This is the interface which I am sorry. This is the method. This is the interface. This is the interface which I am including. Now you can see if I will go to methods tab, the interface method is automatically appearing. And how it is appearing? Interface name tilde operator method name. Now I will write a logic into this particular method because now it is class. We can write the logic. I will double click. Yes. Now I will write a query. Suppose I will write a select query. Select. Yes, I will go for single because you all know whenever you are going for sales order number, at a time we are passing single sales order number. So whenever you will go for single sales order number, you will get a single record because the input to this particular method is parameter. Parameter means we'll go for single entry. Whenever you will go for single entry, yes, single input, you will get a single record from VBAK table. So I'm writing select single. I'm going for fetching details of four columns. ER DAT, ER ZDT, ER NUM, VB type. If you want to select into internal table, if you want to select into work, it is totally your wish. From VBAK into. Now I will go for four exporting columns. What are those four exporting variables? This is your PER DAT, PER ZED, PER NUM, PVB. Now we will go for where condition, where VBELN is equal to PVBELN. Now I will check the syntax and now I will go for activation. Now I'm activating this whole class. Done, it is activated. Now, now you can see Whenever we want to call this method inside the program, this is very big method name, interface name, tilde operator method name. So it is very, because at that time, the readability of the code decreases. So what SAP is saying, the best use is whenever you are implementing interface methods into the class and you think, yes, the name is very big. There must be some shortcut. Create an alias at that point of time. So I will simply go to alias tab. Now you can see the name automatically appearing here. There is no need for you to do anything. Now here you just need to give the visibility and the alias. Name. Suppose I will give the visibility public because we need to use outside the class. So I will take the visibility public 
suppose i will go for a shortcut suppose get underscore data this is the shortcut for this big name this is the shortcut or this is the alias i will check the syntax and i will activate so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with the practical part of alias so as a part of that what we did we firstly created one interface in that interface i took one method yes and i took one importing and four exporting parameters now in interface we cannot write the logic because all methods are abstract method then what i did i simply created the class and in that class i used that particular interface after that in the methods tab the interface method is automatically appearing how it is appearing interface name tilde operator method name and in that method i have written the query i have written a select query to fetch the data from dba a table i simply simply taken the data into these four exporting variables based upon the input now whenever we will use this particular method out in the program or outside the class we need to call this particular method this is a very big name and it decreases the readability of the code then what sap is saying yes this is widely widely used of the alias rather than going for this big name simply create a alias in the alias tab we are automatically getting the interface name tilde operator method name we passed the visibility and we took a shortcut the shortcut is get underscore data now you can see type here if i will go for type it is simply saying this is a method for this method we are creating this particular alias this is a method and we are creating a alias this for this particular method now in the next video we will simply simply call this particular method inside the program and we will go for both the ways yes how we are calling previously then how we are now after that how we can simply call with the help of alias so this part will continue in the next video that's it in this video thank you